Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis, were indeed lean and muscular, and this is supported by multiple lines of scientific evidence, including skeletal analysis, biomechanical modeling, and isotopic studies. Here is a detailed explanation. First, skeletal evidence. Dense, robust bones. Neanderthals had extremely thick and dense bones, especially in their limb bones, femur, humerus, and tibia. This suggests they experienced high levels of mechanical stress, which is typically associated with a physically active lifestyle. The robusticity of their bones indicates that their muscles were heavily developed to support intense physical exertion. Cross-sectional geometry studies of Neanderthal long bones show greater cortical thickness and a high resistance to bending and torsional forces, suggesting they were engaging in frequent high-force activities like hunting large animals and traversing rugged terrain. Wolf's Law states that bone adapts to the mechanical loads placed upon it. The extremely thick bones of Neanderthals are clear indicators that their muscles exerted strong forces on their skeletons. Second, muscle attachments and biomechanics. Neanderthal bones have large muscle attachment sites particularly in the arms, legs, and shoulders. This strongly suggests well-developed musculature. The humeral, upper arm bones, show pronounced ridges where the deltoid and pectoral muscles would attach, indicating powerful upper bodies. The femur, thigh bone, and tibia, shin bone, show features consistent with a high degree of mobility and force generation, suggesting strong quadriceps and calf muscles. The scapula, shoulder blade, and clavicle suggests that Neanderthals had broad shoulders, giving them a powerful upper body advantageous for hunting with thrusting spears. These features indicate that Neanderthals had a much greater lean muscle mass compared to modern humans. Third, isotopic analysis and high-protein diet. Stable isotope studies of Neanderthal bones show that their diet was extremely high in protein, comparable to apex predators like wolves and hyenas. Nitrogen isotope analysis indicates a diet rich in large herbivores such as mammoths, bison, and reindeer. Carbon isotope studies suggest that Neanderthals were primarily carnivorous, consuming little plant matter. A high-protein diet promotes muscle growth and maintenance. Since they consumed large amounts of lean animal protein with little carbohydrate intake, Neanderthals likely maintained a low body fat percentage similar to modern endurance athletes or bodybuilders following high-protein diets. Fourth, cold adaptation and metabolism. Neanderthals lived in Ice Age Europe, where conditions were cold and harsh. Their bodies adapted to this environment in several ways. Higher basal metabolic rate, BMR. Fossil evidence suggests Neanderthals required approximately 4,000 to 5,000 kilocalories per day to sustain themselves, far higher than modern humans. Increased muscle mass helps generate heat, making it beneficial in cold environments. Low body fat compared to modern humans. Unlike modern Arctic populations, who rely on subcutaneous fat for insulation, Neanderthals likely relied on muscular thermogenesis, heat generation through muscle activity. High-protein diets, along with active lifestyles, would have kept body fat levels low while sustaining large muscle mass. Fifth, comparisons to modern athletes. If we compare Neanderthals to modern populations, their muscle mass and body composition would resemble that of elite strongmen or power athletes. Stocky but muscular build. Similar to Olympic weightlifters or MMA fighters, Neanderthals had a high ratio of muscle to fat. High endurance and strength, their active lifestyle and large muscle mass suggest they were capable of high energy, physically demanding tasks such as hunting and carrying heavy loads. Broad, powerful chests and shoulders, indicating strong pectoral and back muscles necessary for throwing, climbing, and carrying heavy prey. Conclusion. Why were Neanderthals lean and muscular? 1. Bone density and structure show they had thick, heavily stressed bones from intense physical activity. 2. Large muscle attachment sites indicate extremely well-developed musculature. 
Third stable isotope analysis proves they consumed a high-protein, low-carb diet that favored muscle mass and leanness. Four, high metabolic demands required them to maintain lean body mass for heat production and survival. Five, cold-adapted physiology meant that instead of storing body fat, they maintained thermogenic muscle mass. Thus, Neanderthals were lean and muscular because their evolutionary survival depended on strength, endurance, and high calorie expenditure in a harsh ice age environment. Their physicality was shaped by natural selection for peak efficiency in hunting, mobility, and thermoregulation.